Hello dear learners my name is Priya Bora assistant professor in department of tourism so today we will study different tourism models and earlier we have already studied the four models in which we studied leapers model mel morrison model butler's model and the doxies irritation index now today we will be covering the other two models we will cover today stanley plogg's psychographic model and matheson and wall model of travel buying behavior now when we start with stanley plogg's psychographic model the plogg in this model explained that the popularity of places fluctuates depending on the sorts of tourist who find the destination appealing he also explained that as a location expands and develops and also falls it attracts different sorts of individuals when in general we define psychographics it means the studying of different lifestyles personalities attitudes behaviors interest and values now here we will study that how different kind of individuals react and select different destination according to their personalities traits and responses to the particular destination when placed accordingly in the categories given by plog now when it comes to its origins the main concept was developed as part of a project for plog's market research from firm basico the inquiry looked at why certain people didn't want to go by plane and what types of people didn't want to travel by plane now when we study the model it has a bell shaped model which covers all the three sectors that is allocentric mid centric and psychocentric and in between of them we have near allocentric and near psychocentric now plogs model describes different typologies and personalities types and uh these personality types of tourists that is the psychocentric near psychocentric mid centric near allocentric and allocentric and their different responses to the destination we will study all the personality traits that is given by the plog in the model the first one is allocentric we also call them wanderers and the explorers now these are the people that are looking for new adventures they are interacting with individuals from various ethnic backgrounds in something uh, that is something their preference and people who want to visit exotic or little known areas are constantly interested in learning about new places these travelers are at very ease with making decisions that include some degree of risk or unpredictability they prefer an active lifestyle that includes a variety of activities they are unconcerned in following a specific itinerary when we talk about mid centric personality trait now mid centric is the type which swings between allocentric and psychocentric these are the tourists that have a well balanced mix of both personality of allocentric as well as psychographic qualities now they neither follow the traveling structure of psychocentrics nor they are following the exploring characteristics of the allocentrics when we talk about the third type of stanley plogg's personality trait that is psychocentric they are also called dependable when it comes to traveling the psychocentrics are dependable people they are the people who are unwillingly to take a risk and prefer to stay in their comfortable zone they choose popular places to provide a safe and consistent travel experience now this type of tourist are very uninterested in trying new things these travelers like driving to their destinations and often vacation with their families or the familiar ones they like driving to the destinations more often they travel less and prefer to stay in regular accommodation that are already well known to them for a shorter period of time at each location as well as eat at family restaurants they like to prefer the popular destinations where they might feel safe and repeatedly taking the same food items from the same known restaurants 
which they have already tried and visited. They don't tend to try any new thing. Now these tourists are not adventurers. They prefer an organized itinerary to travel, have a conservative approach, have little interest in interacting with locals, consume familiar items and feel at ease when accompanied by a small group. Now when we talk about the other personality traits that are near allocentric and near psychocentric, now these kinds do not entirely fit into the allocentric or psychocentric categories. When the allocentric have explored a destination, the near allocentrics are the ones who journey there after them. Now near psychocentrics on the other hand love to travel to places that are well known to others or are really popular and frequently traveled. Now the second model that is Matheson and Wall travel buying behavior model. Matheson and Wall, he suggested a five phase model for tourist consumer behavior. This model tells that how the process of visiting any destination by an individual really works like firstly, an individual recognizes their need or desire to travel, then they prepare to go and experience the journey and after that they can analyze their level of satisfaction through the whole experience. Now why is it important to understand tourist behavior? Tourist behavior describes that how they act before, during and after a trip based on their attitudes and behavior. Also, this may help with planning of marketing techniques and product development methods, resulting in a rise in the number of visitors to tourist destination. Now, if we describe this particular model, we have different phases, the different five phases, which are first one, felt need, travel desire, second one, information collection and evaluation, third one, travel decisions, choosing between the alternatives, fourth one, travel preparation and travel experience, fifth one and the last one is travel satisfaction, outcome and evaluation. When we discuss the first one that is felt need or travel desire in an individual, now tourists have a strong desire to travel which is fueled by fundamental causes such as spending time with friends and family or any other social groups. Rejuvenation, relaxation, restoration or learning a new skills such as hiking, trekking or cycling and many more. This method evaluates all of the above mentioned causes and develop a desire inside in any individual. When we come to second phase, that is information collection and evaluation, at this stage, information on travel is gathered, obtained, collected from a variety of formal and informal sources. Then the comparison takes place between all those information that have been collected by the person according to the priorities that has been set by him or her. When we come to third stage, that is the travel decision, that is the most important decision when we have evaluated between the alternatives, it includes deciding on a place to visit from a variety of options, accommodation facilities, activities to engage in, and sites to see, these all are included in this decision making sentence, and many more among other things. When we talk about travel preparation and travel experience, travel booking including traveling papers such as visa and passport and departures and two aspects of travel preparation and experience are included under this. It mostly concerns the implementation of the prior steps travel decisions. When we discuss about the last step, then after when already we have done everything, we have gone to that place, we have come back to our home destination, after completing the desired journey which we have wished, which we have traveled or vacation, the next stage is to assess, to analyze post-trip satisfaction. Taking into account the complete tourism product, which includes attractions, transportation, lodging, food, host, weather, and many other components. 
as well as elements that make up the total tourist experience. Now this has an impact on future travel plans, although all stages of the tourist decisions making process are significant, the final step is critical for assuring repeat visit to the same destination. That's all for the day. Thank you.